This video is a great way for students to see how cool the flame test lab is and see how fun chemistry can be even if they can't be in school. For example, if they're absent or if there's a pandemic going on. Hi, I'm Miss Cote. What the? And I'm Mr. Lan, and today we're doing the flame test, test lab. Yo, let's play with some fire. Safely. Today we're gonna learn and see how we can determine what's in an unknown solution using the flame test lab. For today's experiment, you're going to need a Bunsen burner, a striker, some Q-tips, a beaker filled with water for safety, as well as some safety goggles. And of course, you're going to want to have your chemicals. Today, you're going to be testing seven chemicals that are known and three test tubes filled with unknown chemicals that you'll have to determine for yourself based on qualitative and quantitative analysis of what it is. Remember, as you're doing this lab today, don't forget to think about the purpose of this lab and what we're trying to learn. Use lots of good qualitative data and use great descriptive words. I don't want to just hear that the flame color is red. Tell me if it's a nice bright red orange, if there are some sparks in there, what does it look like to you? Have some fun today, be descriptive, and make sure you write down lots of good data. This is sodium. This is lithium. This is barium. This is strontium. calcium This is potassium. This is copper. This is unknown number one. This 
This is unknown number two. This is unknown number three. So now that you've seen all the flame tests, can you guys determine what the three unknowns are? Maybe you can base it off of its color, maybe its intensity, maybe some sparks or other distinctive, descriptive, qualitative features. What do you guys think? Double check with your teacher to see when your lab report is due. Remember to fill out your lab paper nice and neatly, be descriptive, use complete sentences, and don't forget, you can also type directly into this document also. If you guys want more awesome science videos like this, make sure you hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button right below. Let us know what other kind of how-to or educational videos you guys want to see.